YouTube. Hang on, let me get over there, YouTube. All right, see this thing? Do you see it? This is a LumeCube anti-collision strobe light. You put this on your drone. You're supposed to be able to see this from three miles away. Well, that's not really three miles, but uh, it is supposed to be viewable. And apparently in the United States with the FAA regulations, this is acceptable. I know for a fact in Canada, in Canada we have new drone regulations. Let me just bring this down so I don't blind you. New drone regulations effective June 1st. And it does say that in Canada, we can now fly our drones at night, but they need some sort of indicator light. So this thing is perfect. Now you can change the setting. Right now I have it on, you know, the normal strobe you'd see on a plane. I can make it a little different by holding this in. And there we go. On the LumeCube box here, it shows it's sitting on the front nose of a Mavic 2 Pro. Well, I didn't bring my Mavic 2 Pro with me tonight because I just know everybody's going to review this with a Mavic 2 Pro. So I brought the Autel Evo. There's my Autel Evo and here's the anti-collision light and I'm going to put it right on the nose and it connects with this industrial strength Velcro that they include. So let me just put it on. So you put one piece of Velcro on the back. There you go. The other piece of Velcro I'm going to stick right on the nose of my little drone right here. You could stick it underneath. But a anti-collision light is made for other items flying in the sky to view your drone. So most are going to be above you. That's why you put it on top. If you want the light to be for the people on the ground, then stick this on the bottom. All right, they should connect together nicely. There we go. Power on the light. One, two, three seconds, and she goes. And there we are. Now, what I'm going to do is fly it and see if I can see this from a distance. Just doing one last check on my controller right here. It says ready to go, GPS mode, and down here, GPS signal is still good, so I'm not affecting the GPS. And I wouldn't worry about the compass. The compass is probably in the arm someplace. All right, so what I'm going to do is I've got my little 4K camera here. You can probably see that. I'm going to hit the record button on it now. So that's going to shoot to the front. If I zoom in on the water, I can see some people on canoes and boats down there. There's the Evo. Let's take off, make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. GPS looks good because it's pretty still in the air. Obviously, as I go up in the air, you'll see less of the light because it's on top. But for airplane, aircrafts and stuff, they would see it, you know, if I get a distance away, it uh, will be quite bright. It's supposed to be seen up to three miles away and you can change the color to red or green as well. All right. So before I go fly this thing and uh, check out how far we can see it, uh, how about you watch a quick unboxing of the actual Loom Cube to see what comes in the box. If you order the Loom Cube strobe anti-collision lights, this is the box they come in. You can stop this at any time. Here's what it says on the front and here's what it says on the back. There we go. It has all the specifications right there. Inside the box, you get the USB cable for charging. You get the Velcro to attach it to your drone and you get a little sticker. Well, at least I got a sticker. And then over here, you get your getting started instructions. Explains exactly what to do. It's very simple. Finally, you get the anti-collision light itself plus a green cover shell and a red cover shell. Here's a super close look at the anti-collision light itself. You can see right here that I've pulled out the USB charging port cover to reveal the USB charging port. This here would keep uh, liquids and moisture out. There you see some branding on the side and finally on the back. There you go, some details. There's the anti-collision light with the green gel. There's the anti-collision light with the red gel. And finally the light with no gel. All right, so what I'll do is I'll show you video feed coming from the drone as I fly out so you can see exactly how far out I am. Let me see, the distance on my controller says I am at over 800 meters away. That's quite far. All right, so uh, let's just turn around. I've stopped now. Let's turn around and face me. So I'll zoom around. And I'm... 21 meters up in the air. So there's the little guys on their kayaks and stuff down there, whatever they're on, face back to me. And I am back over there. So let's check with my other camera, see if I can see myself, if I zoom in. Here I'm zoomed in at max, zoom to the drone. Can you see it? I can, I've got it zoomed right in. You can see the little light on top. And if I bring it down a little, Oop, that might be too much. I don't want to hit the water. Here we go. I'm going to stick this on the bottom. I put the Velcro on the bottom and I'll stick this on the bottom. It should snap into place. Listen for that sound. There we go. It's locked in there. It can't come off. And uh, let's power you on. One, two, three. Let go. And there I'm blinded now. And we have it on the bottom. So now I'm going to fly it above and you'll see that. There's my drone going up. Light on the bottom. 
How's it look? Doesn't seem to affect the drone in any way, shape, or form, so we're all good. There we go. Let's take it away up. We got it zooming up super high. So hopefully my GoPro is picking this up, how bright the light is. It's coming down nice and fast. And there we go. And I'll take it uh, forward. I think I like it on the bottom better. It looks pretty cool. There it is. All right, time to bring it down for a landing. There's a plane on top of it up there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. There's a plane over top of the Evo. All right, so I hope this here video showed you how bright this light is, because it is really bright. I have to try not to look at it because I'll see spots for about five minutes, but uh, that's pretty darn bright back there. So I'm going to put links below where you can find these lights. Try not to look at it on the LoomCube website, and uh, I think they come in different varieties. You know, you get a one pack, a three pack. I'm not really not sure because they just came out today. Anyways, check it out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.